Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Fox Plays with your host Fox, aka Alex. We're playing Glitched. So I'm still continuing on my weird games day today. I just feel like just cracking some out. Now, so last my last video I did, I played Indigo Child. No idea what the hell that game was. If anyone watched that, and uh, if you watched it and didn't stick around to the end, I don't blame you. <laughs> it was confusing as all hell. Let's give this game a shot. It's a bit more straightforward. I can't get it full screen, so... So, so unfortunately, you have to see what programs I've got pre-installed. Hello, Valley customer. My name is Ribble. I'm an intern at Frog Inc. At Frog Inc, we work to hop in us. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that joke wasn't in my phone. Give me a second, guys, that joke. <laughs> it wasn't even that funny, I can't stop laughing at it. Okay, Fox Plays, that's my name. Actually, my real name's Fox, but we put a Fox Plays at the end. You are on your way to a dream adventure in our world of Siren. We need to get through some things. First order of business, same difficulty. Two levels of difficulty, mild and hot. Mild is easy. I'll just go mild, whatever. If we're playing Dark Souls, we're going to do hot, but we're not playing Dark Souls, we're just playing fun games. What a wimp. Ha we are happy to provide a comfortable game made for you. Let's look at take you can configure the controls as well. No, I've already done that. It's already done. Already done, guys. This is taking forever. We're almost finished now. Everyone Frog Inc. wants you for choosing us to explore the world of Siren with. You need to experience an exciting adventure. My nose is itchy. Sorry, guys, as usual. Every time I do a Let's Play, my nose starts flaring up and I go... Get the itches. This is Conrad. Friendly, outgoing, classic hero, and a total snooze. This final day in V Twix. V Twix from Dark Souls 2? I can always bring up a Dark Souls conversation every single Let's Play I do. You actually have a drinking game, the Fox Players drinking game. Every time I talk about Dark Souls, just have a drink. And every time I talk about how it's the best game ever made, just scull your bottle. Actually, you're just gonna get wasted. Don't don't do that, guys. Don't Fox Nation, do not. No. Don't I don't encourage binge drinking like that. One question. If you were in a band, what instrument would you play? Uh, piano. One final note. I wonder how long- I actually have no idea how long this game is. This demo version and subject change, hopefully for the better. What does that even mean? Oh, that's cool. I like- They say this game breaks the fourth wall and self-aware. Kind of like Deadpool and, um, it's another thing that breaks the fourth wall. I don't even remember. I can't- I can't honestly think off the top of my head right now. Anyway, guys, how's your day been, honestly? And as always, I always ask what games you've been playing up to, and what have you been thinking of the... Like, did you watch th my previous video, the in Indigo Child? I love the graphics. Sorry, guys, I'm just a bit speechless. It looks so cool. I love the colors, man. That's... This is, this is a big thing why I love indie games. And why I showcase them is you don't need flashy graphics to make a cool game. And Undertale, if you guys haven't played Undertale, that game is literally the proof of what... Oh, there's me there. I should have been the singer. She's hot. Prologue. Yeah, if you always... You don't need flashy graphics to tell a story and it doesn't have to make... It. Graphics does not equal gameplay. That's what I'm trying to say. Hey, remember the time I fell into that all well? Yeah, I remember having to fish you out. Yeah. Oh, what, you? If I recall correctly, it was George and Lenny who pulled me out. I think Eileen even helped. Uh, guess you did do something. Oh, set boys, your meal was on the house tonight. I think it was a parting gift for you, Conrad. Well, thanks, Norma. Eileen told me you were heading straight for Gundam. I heard the smog there is terrible for your health. You better be careful. Yeah, well, if you say so, I wouldn't want you to worry. Oh, Gus, good show tonight. Let me know if you need anything. Sure thing. Do, do. This music, I, I really like this music so far. You have the main menu music. Whoever did the music, of this give yourself a thumbs up. It's sick. Uh, I don't. I'm not really a big fan of doing voices for characters. If you guys really want me to do voices, leave a comments down below. But because I'm a, I'm a bit of a fast reader, so I'm still reading this while talking to you guys. Be twixt. As you can see, my eyes are probably shifting up to the screen. Because actually, you know what? You probably guys haven't seen how big my 
monitor my monitor is here yeah, ready guys Yeah, I don't know if you, how good that vision was, but yeah, I have a 40... Oh, I'm trying to get my camera back in a perfect position. Yeah, I, I play on a 40-inch screen. And I don't know why I did it. Oh, that's right. I remember now. I remember I had like a really old TV. Like a really... It was the best TV money could buy in the 80s. It was an amazing TV. Like it was literally maybe 80s, 90s, maybe early 90s, like 91, 90, like an old, you know, cathode ray, big, big box TV. But what was sick about the TV was it had AV ports. That's the red, yellow, white cable, the one that the 64 plugs into in the GameCube and the PlayStation and that. And back then, that was a luxury. Like not many people had that slot in the back of their TV. So it was awesome because people always have to use that RF cable where you have to plug the, the console into the antenna. So the graphics were always like a little bit choppy, not choppy. Shouldn't... All right, I gotta go meet Gus. Uh, sorry guys. Wait, what am I doing? I shouldn't gone. I shouldn't go home yet. I have to meet Gus. Okay, cool, done. All right, sorry guys. I just completely wasn't paying attention. I like these birds. I'm very curious what this game's gonna happen. Me and Sartre Hill. I got a feeling this is the hill. This hill's always the north. It's, it's part of my brain. Like, I just know... Like, in so many games, you always have to go up to the hill. And look, I'm right. It's like it's like Zelda, like freaking Link's Awakening. Or, um... I'm trying to think of another game where you have to go up to the cliffside. Because the cliff's always got to face him down. Because you always got to show the epic vista. Um, but yeah, like, I had this awesome 80s TV... And it was sick. And then when I finally got a PS3. No, not PS3. Just trying to think. Did PS3 you could plug? Yeah, you could. You could plug it with the... If you had the original PS3 that had the old cables, you could plug it in via AV. And like when I was playing... Um, what games was I playing? It was Dragon Age 2. That's, that's how long ago it was. I've been playing Dragon Age 2 and I couldn't play the game. Not because the game sucked and a lot of people hate it. I have nothing wrong... I'm. I'm still going to play the game one day to see if it's any good. Um, tell me for sure this. Gus, will you come with me? There's answers out there. I know. I'll come with. Hell yeah, let's do it. Oh, glitched. The game's glitched. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, what was I saying? Boom, boom, boom. Sorry, guys. The glitch, my, this is what's happening to my brain right now. This is your brain on drugs. Yeah, so I remember like all the writing was super small and I could not read the game at all. And I was like, I can't play this game because I always like reading the storyline and that. So it was like, it was, imp it was impossible for me to play it. So then eventually I bought this TV and then I was just like, I stopped working. So I was just like, well, you know what? I'll just buy a big TV. And then I realized, wait, I can plug my computer into it. And then ever since that day, just been playing on this big ass screen. And actually, guys, tell me about your setup at home. Like, what do you, what have you got as a TV or um, your microphone? If you, if you're a YouTuber as well, like, what microphone you got? You might have seen I've got a Rode mic sometimes. Hello. Yeah, hot oh, man. I'm always a helpful guy. We should find a way out of this place. You can lead the way. The game's been saved. Alright, so I gotta figure out. So I can't go right, can't sorry, can't go down, can't oh door. Well there we go. Let's go in. Fuck it. I'm I'm done in this white space. More doors. Maybe one of these will leave me out. All seems familiar. Let's just start which one first. Uh, let's do the boring brown door. A mountain. Already solving my first puzzle already. Boom. Pushing the rock. Gear. Yeah. Alright. Pushing that rock. Push. You know, tell me what though. You have to be pretty freaking strong to push a rock. Like, I'm pretty strong. I don't reckon I could push a rock that big. Bastion, reliable, adamant, stubborn, short-sighted. 
That was tough, but we've made it. I feel resilient. Gus regained Bastion. Okay, a grey door. We're finishing this game today. This guy's gonna ask. This all reminds me of the Matrix, when like in Matrix 3, when Neo's stuck in, in the between world. Looks like the train stop. Hey, can I give you something else? I have no bits, can you? Okay, interesting. Alright, so it's about trying to get your personality traits back. Here we go, let's do it. It's so dark in here, let's try and find a way out. Zelda puzzle right here. Boom. Brave, devoted, self-righteous, impulsive. Zeal! You are zeal! Zeal. Is it the right way? I don't know. Alright, let's go in here. Yellow door. Boom, let's go ahead. I'm actually curious to see how this game pans out. I'm just gonna go straight. No, wrong way. I was obsessed with mazes. I always thought they're so cool. We have like a maze park in um in where I'm from. I'm just trying to think where's the park. I don't remember where it was, but I just remember being in this giant maze and I was like, this is sick. Alright, is this it? <laughs> drift. <laughs> this guy's sick. He's got drift now. Boom. Uh, we're gonna finish this game today, I guess. Go ahead, let's go. Which is step. Maybe we should look around. Uh, there's a flower on a lake. Take water. Harmony. Do like peace. Harmony. Alright. Let's go for the last door. There's a clue somewhere here. Blue flame. Bookshell. Uh, read the book. Insight. That was it. Alright, final door. Let's go through it. We'll be fine, mate. Hey, when life throws you lemons, make lemonade. Let's do it. No turning back now. The fuck? I like that pixel thing. That glitch thing. It looks cool. Help me. I don't know what's happened to him. Please. Oh, what? It's an actual RPG? I didn't even know. Interact. You're right, we have to talk him out of this. Conroy, we're trying to help you stop it. Gone though. I didn't kill him, I said mercy. I don't know why this isn't real. Okay. My collapse. Oh no, frog guy, don't make a joke again, I'm gonna laugh. Hello, Fox players, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Melton. Buff of Frog Inc., we are terribly sorry for this inconvenience. Our intention was to provide a fun, pleasant, and stress free experience here in our world. Unfortunately, something unpredictable happened. Currently, we don't know 
has caused this anomaly, but it sure it won't be happening again. We'll ask you to step away for a little while and figure things out. I'll send you back to the main menu now. Sit tight and leave you. Do not press continue. Do not press continue. You know what we're going to do, guys. You know what we're going to do. You know what we're going to do. We're going to listen to his instructions and quit the game there. Peace out, guys. No, no. Come on. All right. I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay. 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 We're going to do continue. All right. He's going to be upset, isn't he? <clears throat> Go on now. Uh, this, even though it's Frog Inc., I can't predict what might occur. Listen, if you're going back there, we highly encourage you to avoid any detail in your truth. That kind of shot can be very dangerous. Also, if you get stuck in the dead end, this might be it for Gus. Change which essence, his essence will alter how this world and people see him, so choose carefully. Uh, that sounds like me. Nothing to fight for their beliefs, whether they be good or evil. Okay, it sounds like me. Calculating curious. The value. Knowledge. So, Tay Lopez is not Harmony. So, Tay, no, Tay Lopez, knowledge, YouTube money, insight. He's all about insight. Us who are on Bastion are unyielding and set in our own ways. No, I'm not, definitely not Bastion. Conquest. Are resourceful and goal driven like a politician. They're good at interacting with others and using people to reach their goals. They have social skills to get things done. I'm, a bit, I'm in between conquest and zeal. I'm also a little bit. Alright, I think I got it. Let's do conquest. Mobile user device. MK, alright. Good luck, alright. I'm very curious to see what's gonna pan out. I, I've no idea, how, this is a demo as well. I've not, it literally came out today or yesterday, so I've not even know how this is gonna pan out. Let's give it a try anyway. <laughs> Conrad, so it's all about finding Conrad. Mr. Salami? I like his name already. I'm getting hungry for Salami right now. Find who? You were alone. So Conrad's disappeared. Okay. Interesting, okay. So the glitch happened, Conrad's disappeared, and no one knows who he is. Interesting, I like this. Oh, let's find help him find. I will help you. Don't forget your hat, mate. Da -na -na -na. Boom, all right. Let's get this game started. That guy looks like Zoidberg. Zoidberg's in this game. Gets a 10 out of 10 for me. Let's go off suggestions. What a nice town meeting. Everyone's just calm and quiet. This definitely will not happen in that thing attacked one of us. We must put an end to it. I sense the being is here to stay. Oh, okay. So you can align with these people. I don't want to be that guy. You know what I think? <laughs> it don't matter because his name's Salami. 
So that guy's Bastion, obviously. Am I lying with Dr. Zobo? There's a guy named Slick Rick, the rapper. I gotta pick one. Oh no. Alright guys, welcome back. Exist, coexist. That was a tough choice. I'm now I'm so curious to see what the other gun down and tell their present what has happened. I ain't leaving that shit. Quick. Get. Okay, I wonder if... Interesting. Of course. No, let's do it, man. Let's help this boy out. He wants his friend back. I like this kid already. I'll go to Gundam. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, interesting. Fox plays. Thanks for sticking with me. No one in this town seems to remember Conrad at all. Whoa. Northern part of. Make myself home? Doing what? Hunt <laughs> pocket knife. He was alright. He was a pretty good friend of mine, actually. He's actually your mate. So tell me, what are you doing here? Why are you helping me? I'm just here to help, okay? <laughs> it's cool, though, that I'm... I'm kind of talking to me. That's cool. I know you're leaving, but I want to make sure you're ready. Alright, let's fight. Alright, let's fight. Gex! Three, two, one. Let's go that Earthbound fight style. Look at that, it's just a prank. Oh man, prank videos. Oh, I got poison. Alright, don't ever prank ever again. Quick! Probably explore this town, so give me a sec, guys. If it's nothing interesting, I might skip this bit. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm ready to go. I'm ready. I've explored enough, there wasn't really that much. Yes, we're ready. We're ready. Thank you. Alright, 
Let's get out of here. Come on, hurry up. Can't skip this dialogue. The final box. Nice. Ah, this brown Bebo. I noticed that in this game, because like when I decided with Harmony, my hat changed color, but now I'm sided brown. I forgot what brown was. So I'm actually really curious to see how those decisions affect later decisions, and I don't know if it affects the ending or playthrough or that. Have a safe journey. Thanks, man. This is just the start. I bet the demo dem is going to end here. Hot plate and a cold drink. I got such a scumbag here. I did not want to sign with him. Don't come back too soon. Zoidberg. Alright, let's get out of here. It's time to go. The music is pretty cool in this game. It's really nice and upbeat. Let's go. Let's go. And House Studios. Honestly, not bad. See, let's see. The game's been saved. There's an end there. Ooh, it's got a sick map screen. I like the map screen. All right. Actually, I might leave the episode there, guys. What do you guys think of Glitched? Um, I think it's pretty cool. I'm gonna, I'll continue on though. And um, guys, I'll see you next episode. If you like the video, give it a like, give it a share as always. Let me know what you thought about the game so far. And if you're enjoying me playing these weird games that you might have never ever played. Or do you want to play some hey, Call of Duty? <laughs> I'm not playing Call of Duty, guys, never. Maybe a million subscribers, maybe, maybe. But that's it. You have to give me a million subscribers before I play that shit game. Alright guys, peace out. Shoo, shoo, shoo.